very good morning students last session uh, you all uh, understood about gray body radiation uh, this session we will see about the radiation shield radiation shield so this is the based on the concept gray body uh, radiation so here you can see three surfaces this is surface one the second one is you can see this is surface one so this is surface two and this is surface 3. So, this one is inserted between 1 and 2. Between 1 and 2, the third surface is inserted, it's a thin layer. The surface 1 is a grey surface and the surface 2 also a grey surface. So, this is a reflective body, third one is the reflective body. We don't know about a T3 value. So that we are going to see in this session, how to uh, understand about the say, radiation shield. Here, the radiation shield T1 which is having 1000 Kelvin. So same way the T2 has a 300 Kelvin. These two are grey body surfaces. This third one is a thin layer. So here T1 is greater than T2 that already we have seen in the grey body surface. So it is possible. Then you can see the formula T3 alpha equal to MCVT and A. Same like the equations, all the gray body surface are the same equation. So, it is possible to reduce the net radiation heat exchange between two parallel gray surface by a third surface in between them. In between them. So, T3 which is equal to radiation shield temperature. Emissivity 3 equal to emissivity of radiation shield. E3 emissivity 3 equal to emissivity of radiation shield. Where we can notice the formula which is formulated Q123, heat flux 123. 1, 2, this is the body 1, this is the 3. 1, 2, 3. First let me see 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 which is equal to sigma T1 power 4 minus T3 power 4 divided by 1 by emissivity 1 plus 1 by emissivity 1 3 minus 1 let it be equation number 1 so same way q 3 to 2 this is the third body this is the second body 3 to 2 which is equal to sigma t 3 power 4 minus t 2 power 4 divided by 1 by emissivity 3 2 plus 1 by emissivity 2 minus 1 this is equation number 2 simplifying the equation q 1 2 3 which is equal to Q322 which is the energy balance as per steady state condition it should be equal so sigma T1 power 4 minus T3 power 4 divided by 1 by emissivity 1 plus 1 by emissivity 3 minus 1 which is equal to sigma T3 power 4 minus T2 power 4 T emissivity 3 to 2 and emissivity 2 minus 1 here Q322 so emissivity 3 to 2 here Q123 uh, hence emissivity 1 to 2 let x be 1 by emissivity 1 plus 1 by emissivity 1 3 minus 1. y be 1 by x emissivity 3 2 plus 1 by emissivity 2 minus 1. So t1 power 4 minus t3 power 4 divided by x which is equal to t3 power 4 minus t2 power 4 divided by p. So solving the equation we are getting t1 power 4 minus t3 power 4 y Already we assumed y equal to 1 by emissivity 3 2 plus 1 by emissivity 2 minus 1. So which is equal to x. x was assumed as 1 by emissivity 1 plus 1 by emissivity 1 3 minus 1 for simplification. So product of t3 power 4 minus t2 power 4. So y into t1 power 4 minus y into t3 power 4 which is equal to x into t3 power 4 minus x into t2 power 4. So, y into t1 power 4 plus x into t2 power 4 which is equal to t3 power 4 product of x plus y. So, t3 power 4 which is equal to y into t1 power 4 plus x into t2 power 4 divided by x plus y. t3 equal to t1 power 4 plus x by y t2 power 4 divided by 1 plus x y. 1 plus x by y which is the power of 1 by 4. Let it be equation number 3. Solving the equation we get this is the equation to solve for special case we can consider emissivity 1 2 uh, 1 2 and 1 3 as 
uh, emissivity then x equal to y equal to 2 by emissivity minus 1 so the t3 which is equal to equation number 4 like this so q rod shield which is becoming as sigma t1 power 4 t1 power 4 plus t2 power 4 divided by 2 2 by emissivity minus 1 so this is the equ equation 5 after simplifying the comment is when the emissivity of all surfaces are equal the net radiation reduces by 50 per percentage. If there are n radiation shield, then q122 n shield equal to 1 by n plus 1 q122 without shield. So with this I close lecture this lecture. Hope you understood. Thank you.